Hello, hello, I'm Sam I Am, and welcome to Sam I Am Somewhere. Today, that somewhere is, we are in the Regal in the Morristown Mall for another out of the theater movie review. It's Thursday night, that means it's movie night, and tonight's movie is A Haunting in Venice. This movie might be like Scooby-Doo because it's about mystery, maybe a ghost, and scary. That's very interesting. I am very excited for tonight's movie. The reason why we're at the Regal in the Morristown Mall because today's showings for A Haunting in Venice at the Burlington Regal are all on smaller screens. We don't like to watch movies on a smaller screen. we rather watch movies on the big screen instead. Before we get to our unfinished movie business, we gotta really take good care of this chicken business. Mm mm mm. Let's go! <laughs> we watched it. Let's do our review. My first reaction, it was okay overall. Add them up. You're up. What was your first reaction? My first reaction is like, these movies are annoying because I try and figure stuff out and I'm never right. Don Solo, what was your first reaction? Uh, I was a little creeped out. It was a lot creepier than I thought it was going to be. Let's move on to the positive things. My positive things that the characters was a little funny. They did a good job. And I also like the filming location was really neat. Venice. And the music was pretty good too. My positive, I have to go with the, the haunting. The, you know, it was, it was different from the other two. Um, this one was a little, little scarier. They had, had some ghosts and some ghouls and, you know, made you think a little different. Adam, what were your positive things? My positive things is I think this one was a little bit better than Death on the Nile. Um, it, I was a little bit more interested in this and I saw Death on the Nile and I kind of like saw it once and forgot about it. This one I might, I might watch again. Let's move on to the negative things. My negative things that it was a sl little slow in the beginning and I don't like the scary scenes. Adam, what were your negative things? I didn't have too many negative things. I guess I'll say uh, Gal Gadot wasn't in the movie, so that was a little negative. <laughs> Don Solo, what were your negative things? Uh, it was just the same murder mystery as the other ones. It just, you know, a few extra twists, but it's, it's, uh, it's the same movie, just murder mystery. Let's move on to the rating. I will rate it 8 out of 10. Adam, what would you rate it? Um, first, I want to say I, I, thought, I thought of another negative thing. I had a hard time understanding some of the dialogue because of the thick accents that, that they had, especially the main detective. He had like a, like a French accent, and I had a hard time understanding what words he was saying, but I would rate it a 6 out of 10. Don Solo, what would you rate it? 6 out of 10. Would you pay to go see it, or nah, just wait for streaming? This one, I think you can wait for streaming. I would wait for streaming because Death in the Nile was a little better than this movie. Don Solo, what do you think? Pay to go see it. Like, you'll, you'll love watching these in the theaters. You know, it's a one-time movie. Like, once you've seen it once, you really don't go back and watch them again. So, watch it in theaters. Well, 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 well. We did it all. We ate Chick-fil-A. We watched a movie and we talked about it. See you next week for our next out of the theater movie review. So if you enjoy this video, please hit the... Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait, wait a minute. We can't leave these people like this. Oh, I might have forgot something. Oh, I heard it now. So if you enjoy this video, please hit the like button. And you could subscribe anytime because it's free for you. Okay, guys, thanks for watching, and we will see you real soon.